while some areas are seeing crystal clear skies, other areas are seeing quite a bit of cloud cover. So a mix of it all on our ABC 10 News Sky Cams. Looking at a snapshot in San Diego, you can see those clear skies. Meanwhile, over Otay Mountain in Chula Vista, we're seeing those clouds. Also in Mount Woodson and Poway, Mount Laguna, crystal clear right now. Temperature is a little bit cooler today compared to yesterday. We're looking at 60s for most of us, though. 59 degrees in Ramona, 56 in Alpine, 59 in Hamul, 63 in downtown and in National City. So it was a bit breezy, especially in the mountain and deserts today. Right now, Julian gusting to 21 miles per hour Boulevard, all the way up to 43, 28 in Borrego Springs. And we'll continue to see some gusty onshore winds through tomorrow. And then the winds are going to switch, and we're actually going to see some mild Santa Ana conditions coming through on Thursday. So another gusty day in the mountains and deserts. Could see a few gusts reach all the way up to 50 miles per hour. A little warmer tomorrow. We're actually expecting near 70 degree temperatures for our inland neighborhoods. Fallbrook is at 69, Escondido and Poway at 70, mid 60s, up and down our coastline. And thick marine layer clouds are going to roll in again tonight into tomorrow morning. And just like we saw this morning, there is going to be some patchy drizzle, little light rain coming through with that. All of that due to this system right here that is enhancing our onshore flow. Most of the rain associated with this system is well up to the north of us. Now that system is going to be diving south and then we're going to be on the back side of that low pressure system. That's what's going to bring the Santa Ana winds on Thursday. So as we head into tonight, this is at 5 a.m. tomorrow. Thick marine layer clouds, a little bit of green showing up, indicating that chance for some sprinkles, a little bit of drizzle, maybe even some light rain. By the afternoon, we'll see uneven clearing. Once again, most of us will see mix of sun and clouds, partly cloudy to mostly sunny skies. And then as we head into Thursday, this is an interesting forecast because we're going to see the winds turn offshore. So we'll notice those gusty easterly and northeasterly winds, especially in the inland and mountain areas. But that storm system is basically going to be sitting close enough that it's still going to be surging moisture in. So the mountain areas, I can't rule out a stray shower on Thursday afternoon. And then that system gets a little bit closer to us. So this is an update to the forecast from yesterday because it really depends, as I said yesterday, on where the track of this storm system goes. If it travels a little bit farther west, which it's looking likely right now, Friday and Saturday, we're actually going to see a slight chance for showers. Now, the best chance for showers will be near the mountains, but a few stray showers could reach all the way to the coastline. Sunday, our St. Patrick's Day. That's when a warm up looks like it's going to be beginning with warmer weather into early next week, fitting as we begin spring on Tuesday. For the inland neighborhoods, temperatures will be pretty close to 70 degrees through the end of the week, mid 70s Sunday into early next week. And Friday, we're actually going to have a slight chance for a few thunderstorms, believe it or not. Very interesting forecast this week. The mountain area is above 5,000 feet. Friday and Saturday, you could see a little bit of snow, but don't expect to see any accumulation. 60s by next week. And the deserts. Even a very slim chance for a few showers here, but we're staying in the 70s and 80s.